Say, kids, what time is it? Happy Valentine's Day! Sir, and boys and girls here in Dutyville, kids in Bloomington, Indiana, and all over America, let's go! Well, you know, boys and girls, there was certainly plenty of excitement around Dutyville when Captain Windy Scuttlebutt's dog disappeared. Now, kids, we know, of course, that Mr. Bluster is trying to find Windy. Bluster wants to put Windy in his circus. Matter of fact, Bluster has called in a magician to help him. But we have got some unexpected help of our own, kids. That's me, kids. The blue. I'm helping Buffalo Bob and Howdy Doody because I just don't like that Mr. Bluster. When he's around, I want to go bloop, like this. I want to get invisible, see? I mean, you can't see on account of I'm invisible. But you see what I mean when I say, see, you can't see. <laughs> Anyhow, I don't like that, Mr. Bluster, but I do like Howdy Doody and Buffalo Bob. So here I come back again. Bloop. I gave Buffalo Bob a bloop scoop about Windy, remember? I said, if run away Windy, you would see, look where you'd never expect him to be. That's it, a bloop scoop. Figure it out, and you'll find Windy. Whoop, here comes Mr. Bluster now. I'll be seeing you. Bloop. <laughs> Magicians can make anything disappear, right, buddy? Buddy, I'm the great imperial wizard, Abracadabra. All right, buddy, all right. Answer my question. Can you or can you not make things appear and disappear? <laughs> my dear fellow, you see before you the most magical man of magic, the most stupendous mystifier, the most extravagant... Answer my question. Yes, I can! Don't shout! I'm a gentle, kindly, lovable old man. But I'm sorry. No need to shout at me. <laughs> what I want you to do should be child's play for you. Really? Child's play. Well, I'll just run through if you... Bring expect. Windy here. And bring Windy here? Bring Windy, you He's see. He's a dog. Windy. Go ahead. Fetch him, buddy. Well, I'll try. Windy, you say, huh? Well, I'll try and bring him back. One, two, three, Alakazam. <laughs> if runaway Windy, you would see. Look where you'd never expect him to be. Kids, that's what the bloop told us. But that's a real puzzler, isn't it? Yeah. If runaway Windy, you would see. Look for him where you'd never expect him to be. Kids, do any of you have any ideas about what that means? No. Nobody at all? I do. Who does? Come on over here, little fella. If runaway Wendy, you would see, look for him where you'd never expect him to be. Come on right over here. Hey, Tell me, you... what's your name, Sonny? Johnny Lawrence, and I watch your show every night, and I love your show. Well, bless your heart, but what do you think this means, Johnny? Well, well me, that you never looked it, and, and, and also that means that you shouldn't, Look, I, I, I mean, you can't see the plane. It, because it's too invisible, just like a... Just like the bloop. Oh, you mean the place is invisible like the bloop is invisible. Well, all right, Johnny. Thank you very much. That's pretty good. Does anybody else have an idea what that means? Uh, this little fella. You stand up. What's your name, Sonny? Chuck. All right, Chuck. What do you think this means? Maybe... Um, where you never looked before. Place where you never looked before, yeah. huh? Well, all right, Chuck. Many thanks. Kids, believe me, it, it, it's got me puzzled. It, practically dizzy. I would say, speaking of being dizzy, I wonder what Clarabelle's up to. Now, remember, kids, our clown Clarabelle went to the Tinkatonka Reservation to meet the, the Queen Great Grandmother. Now, the Queen Great Grandmother has planned to come here from the Tinkatonka Reservation, and who knows why she's coming here to Dutyville. Why, Dolly? Stand up. Why? She has a surprise. That's what she said. What's your name, honey? Susan. All right, Susan. Thanks very much. Yes, we don't know what it is, but she said she's bringing a big surprise here to Dutyville. Well, it was a wonderful idea, kids, for Clarabelle to...
decided he was going to go to the Tinkataka Reservation and meet her, but you know what happened? He got all mixed up. He went to Niagara Falls. <laughs> then last we saw him, he was at, at the stockyards in Chicago. Did you see him there? Yeah. Kids, he'll never get to the Tinkataka Reservation. If you ask me, kids, Clarabelle is getting worse instead of better. You never know what he's going to do. Oh, I... Attention! Oh. Clear them all, wigwam! Ah! Clear them all, wigwam. How a bonga here a to a mystery! How mixed up peanuts! How, oh, see? Ah! How bubble of bob! Well, how, but they, see, what they, what's all this business here? And, and then, kids, did you hear what he said? He, he's ah. got the answer to the mystery. What is it, Steve? <laughs> You am lucky fellow, Buffalo Bob. I am? That am right. Yeah. Peanuts, them lucky peanuts. They're lucky. They a little mixed up, but they lucky. Yeah? Uh, well, why, Chief? I mean, why are we all so lucky? Oh, because you have them handsome, clever, oh. tricky, Chief Thunderthud to help you solve a mystery. Kawabunga. Oh. Very clever Indian here. Yeah. Uh. yeah, we know that. You're very, very clever. Thank you, Mule. But look, exactly how are you going to solve our mystery, handsome... Clever, tricky Indian chief. Oh, thank him, you. Uh, how? You uh, want him to find a missing pooch of that him, right? That's exactly right. We sure do, yeah. Oh, uh, watch him. Well, what's this? That him bowl. That him bowl. Hold him bowl. Uh huh? Oh, a bunga. What's that? Oh, this secret mystery plug. Oh. I bowl. You remembered the plug, kid. Oh, a bunga. <laughs> Oh, be clever Indian. Be oh, told sure, you that. Sure. Now. What this? What this? This is what you call using them head oh. instead of just for them hat rack. Oh, I see. Make them very fine food here. Oh. Very fine, tasty dish for a mini dog. Oh. Come on, Bongo. We start. Food fit for a dog. Ah. Uh. Oh, Bongo. That's using my bean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, let him know what that. it means. I don't understand this, kids, but I'll, I'll in help him. Different ingredient. Oh, yes? What's this? Put him in them split pea. Oh. Spent him all night splitting them. Oh, but it's a big job, wasn't it? Ah. Uh huh. You have to be careful. Maybe Gotta be careful. Outside, eh? Oh, this heat fine, tasty dish. Do you have a receipt for this? No, because we've got a recipe. My mother would love this receipt. Oh, she fine lady, Buffalo Emma. I help her make Springerlies and Pfefferness and all that stuff at oh, Christmas, that you know. Oh, that's good. With the rabbit. Yeah, Leibkuchen oh, and all that. Sprinkle, sprinkle, little flower. Yeah. Let him know. How that looking so far? You ever make Leibkuchen? Leibku? Pfefferness? Oh, Bonga. Never made any of that, huh? Oh, you get me mixed up, me forget them recipe. Oh. Now. She's got a receipt for Fusnock Keatley that we make. The getting closer. Finest Fusnock Keatley. Oh. Never ate it, huh? This is going to be a good. Yeah. Oh, let's go crazy. Oh, don't no, spoil them. I like these. Come on. Go, All right, let them it. I don't know what we're making, kids, but we're making it all right. Now. What's this? A little salt. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's a that? A little mixed up nutmeg. Oh. With cinnamon. That's nice. I bet you oh, good. that about about. Yeah. yeah, but look, after you make this, Wendy won't be here to eat it, Chief. Now, oh. mix them. Oh, no, first mix them. Oh, I forgot. Oh. Hey, kids, you know, maybe the Chief what? has got an idea here. Oh, now. You know, Wendy must be pretty hungry by this time, and if he smells a good dinner, maybe he'll oh. come running back to get us. Him be here, no yeah. time flat. Oh, that a miss. That looks like a sunshine cake, doesn't it? That's it. Huh? Now, look. Ban him. Flick him. Wait a minute. Ooh, good. Oh, no, that smell him good. That doesn't smell very good to me, Chief. Oh, but you not him dog. This smell him good for him dog. He's good. Ah, now ban him. Ban him. Ban him so him wonderful smelling smoke go him out toward him poochie. Oh, I And when he smell it, he come. Hey, pretty good idea, huh, kids? Ah. Then he'll be sure to smell it and get here in a hurry. Let him right. Come on, It's almost done. It is, huh? Oh. I'm done. It's some heap full course dinner. Got them six courses. Yeah. Oh, like them Thanksgiving spread. Oh, cowabunga. Mmm. Oh, that much more food than them dog can eat. Maybe he'd give them us some. Yeah, well, thanks. It's the same, but I don't think I'd like to have it. Cowabunga. Get them all finished. 
Oh? Oh, me so I'm nervous. Well? You see him, Wendy? Him well, around? Not a sign yet. When he see him spread, well? Cowabunga, him come him rushing quick like a mat. Hope him do. Cowabunga. What do you say, Chief? You ready yet? Hear him. Hear him come. Well? Ah. Oh. oh, no. You mean... That's what this was all about, a dog bone? Oh, my signal's got them all mixed up. Oh, Chief, this is about the silliest thing I ever heard in my life. It's almost as oh. silly as a Clarabelle trick. Look what he got, kids, a dog biscuit. Oh, Bunga, something gone wrong. Oh, get it out of here, oh, will you please? Oh, have to think. Thunder, yeah. sir. Please Give do. Give my bolt. Pull them, plug them. Got them, unconnect them. High voltage switch. Yeah, thank you very much, oh, Chief. Oh, Bunga. Goodbye. Oh, we got to go and heat meditate. Find Goodbye, them please signal. do. Got to mix them up. Oh, that silly Indian. Kids, I, I need something to help you forget what silly things that Indian can think of. Now, how does that riddle go again? If run away, Wendy, you would see... Look where you'd never expect him to be. Kids, we'll start to figure that out in a minute. But first, come on in, boys and girls. We're going to relax here and watch a howdy doody old-time movie. Yes, sir, and we really got a good movie for you today, kid. A movie with one of our old, old friends, Tim Dolan. You remember Tim? Some people called him Dookie, some Tim. We like to call him Tim. Now, Timmy, one day, was out with his little friend, Freddie, there. And Tim Dolan found a purse. And he opened the purse, and there was lots and lots of money in it. Now, Tim knew that if he ever got that purse back to the owner, the purse would naturally be very valuable to the owner, and the owner would give Tim what? Money back. A, a, a what? A reward. Exactly right. So Tim has this purse, and he's being chased, however, by five fellas who saw him pick up the purse when he first found it. Now, these fellas are all trying to get after Tim Dolan, of course, trying to get that purse away from him. They all happen to land here in this little pool outside of a home. And there's Tim Dolan and little Freddy pretending that they're statues. Five fellas stand around there and look. They realize that it's not a statue, it's the man with the purse. So Tim and little Freddy get out of the pool and they're on their way again. Come on, let's hide down here. The fellas have no idea where he went. Little Freddy goes down the hole there with Tim. Now, here's the man who lost the money. And that's his girlfriend. He says, I have no idea where the money went. The girlfriend says, well, now, don't you worry. Let's just hope that some nice, honest person found the purse so that they'll return it to you real soon. Well, this is the first time that Freddie and Tim have been separated. Now, Tim says, ah, I'll just climb up this ladder and... Now I'm at the top store. Oh, that's a relief. I'm away from those... Oh, oh, oh. And back and away he goes again. The only bad thing is now, Tim doesn't know where Freddy is. Tim says, oh, I got to get back to Freddy. Freddy's coming up the one side of the fence. Look out, Tim, look out. Whoa! So, Tim says, well, good, Freddy. Oh, here they come, and they're on their way again. Now watch this, kids. This is funny. Is that Clarabelle? Clarabelle, where are you? Oh, no, no. I thought that was my Model T for a minute, but it isn't. Now, they happen to be setting some dynamite here. And thank goodness, Tim got by. So did little Freddy and the five fellas that are in pursuit of them. Oh, the man's trying to wave them away. He says, no, there goes him. Last and uh-oh, Tim says, well, we got nothing to worry about now. Oh, there's one of the fellas. So Tim says, hey, wait a minute, maybe we better check. Yes, we still have the purse, we still have all the money. He checks the address. He says, come on. I know where we're going. We're going to return this money to the rightful owner. And before we do, he says, come on over here. And I'm going to have a... Oh, little... 
Maybe a watermelon, a couple peaches, and something else. And there's the man who owns the purse. And he says, all right, here's your money. And the man says, here's your reward. And what do you think he gave him? One nickel. And after Tim Dolan ordered all this fruit, he says, well, here, plum for you and a plum for you. Plums are two for five today. And that's the end of our old time movie for today. Ah, yes, sir. Well, say, have any of you boys and girls been to a, a birthday party recently? Yeah. Well, have you really? Yeah. All right, this little girl. Honey, uh, what did you have at the birthday party? I had some ice cream. Did you have ice cream? Was it good? Ah, oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. I'll bet it was good. Well, that's what the and bloop said, Billy. If runaway Wendy, you would see, look where you're never expecting to be. No, oh, but that's no help. Well, I don't know, Billy. Maybe it is. Look where you never expect him to be. Well, I never expect him to be on the moon, and that means we ought to look for him on the moon. Now, uh, Dilly, that's pretty silly, buddy. Or on the Google Hoogle Desert. Dilly. I'd never expect him to be there either. Dilly. Come on, Howdy. We'd better go and look in the Google Hoogle Desert. Dilly, cut out the Google Hoogle, will you please, Dell? Well, scramptions and bunny waggles, Howdy, buddy boy. Why couldn't the boob come right out and stay where Wendy is? Well, because he promised Wendy that he wouldn't. Isn't that right, Buffalo Bob? Well, that's what he said, Howdy Buddy, but that bloop scoop he gave us isn't much help. See, see, I told you. Look where you'd never expect him to be. Howdy, that could be any place in the world. Oh, boy, it sure is a problem, all right. I don't know. It's a mean problem, that's what it is. No, I give up. I'm so mad I could... Yeah, well, now, Dilly Buddy, wait a minute. Getting mad won't help us, Dilly. What we've got to do is come up with some idea. Step right up for the magic demonstration of the century. Oh, Phineas, what's he up to now? <laughs> Lovable old Phineas has done it again. <laughs> when nobody else, but nobody else, could find Wendy, I, Phineas the genius, could, can, will. <laughs> no silly boop scoop's going to stop me either. Now, wait a minute. You mean you're going to find Wendy? Right, Bobsy Wopsy. I don't believe it. Oh, don't you? No. Don't you and me? No. That's <laughs> silly thing. Watch and see. The old professor, Abracadab. Abracadab? That's yourself. Huh? The one, the only, the great Abracadab, imperial wizard of wizardry, the most magical magician in all of the world. All right, all yeah. right. Get that and get down to work, buddy. He's a magician, huh? The one, the only, the great, the imperial... Oh, fish and twiddle twiddle. Oh, stop that. Of course, he's a magician. And I've hired him to bring Wendy back by magic. That's right. Get on with it, will you, Professor? I want to get that dog into my circus as soon as possible. Then, behold. Why are you clapping? You I'm, haven't done anything yet. I'm calling my assistant. Bosh and humbug, you haven't got an assistant. Oh, so I haven't. Well, I'll have to assist myself. <laughs> Watch this, Bopsy Wopsy. Watch closely. Yeah, don't worry, Phineas. I'm watching. Hey! Boys and girls, you are about to witness the great magician, Professor Abracada. Now, I have here an ordinary deck of cards with 52 playing cards. Uh-oh, 53. You notice, boys and girls, they're all different. <laughs> and they make them that way so that you can tell them apart, you see? Now, what I am going to do, and watch very closely, I am going to have these cards fly up in the air and all come back right into my hand in exactly the same position. Now, watch closely. You watching? Oh, dear. Oh, it didn't work at all. Well, of course, that's... Well, you know, there's one trick, boys and girls, that I, I've always wanted to do, but well, somehow I never knew how to, and so I went into a magic shop one day, that's where you buy magic tricks, and I said, I've seen a trick. You tell me how it's done. The magician started off by having six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. They then threw away one, two, three cards, and when he counted them, he still had one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Magic dealer said, now just a moment, I understand correctly, the magician starts off, he has one, two, three, four, five, six cards, throws away one, two, three cards, 
And when he counts them, he still has one, two, three, four, five, six cards. And that's absolutely correct, exactly. At the start of the trick, the magician has one, two, three, four, five, six cards. He throws away one, two, three cards, and when he counts them, he still has one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Magic dealer said, I don't have that trick, and to this day, I haven't been able to do it, boys and girls. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, of course, now the important thing is finding Windy, isn't it, eh? Well, all right. Now, I need a small handkerchief. I believe I have one right here. Oh, yes. There it is. Nice small handkerchief. There. Now, boys and girls, watch. And we shall produce Windy. Come, Windy boy. There. Buffalo Bob. Buffalo Bob, I have him. Yes, here Professor Abracadabra. Here he is. I've got him. Windy! Windy! Uh, windy! Uh, oh, come back here, oh, boy. No. Come on, windy. Oh, look at the little oh, come funny. Windy. But come. kids, is that windy? No! No, that isn't windy. It's not? No, that's little rabbit. Oh, dread it. Bash it. Well, have a little bit. Take it away. Oh, well, I, come over here, I baby. I just don't seem to be able to get on to it today. Ah, but never fear. Never fear, the great abracadab will certainly come up. That wasn't big enough, eh, Buffalo Bob? No, Bob? bigger, bigger. Bigger. Oh, well. All right. We shall this time get Windy. Abracadab calls on Windy. Come, Windy. Come, Windy. Here he is, Buffalo Bob. Buffalo yeah, yeah, Bob. yeah. Windy. Ah. Uh, Windy. <laughs> Kids, is Windy a chicken? <laughs> no. Oh, he's bigger, isn't he, kids? Yeah. Big. Much Bigger, this was for our dinner tonight. We'd like to take this to the chef. Oh, Pierre, Pierre the chef. Much bigger. Well, of course. Naturally, that handkerchief wasn't large enough. I shall have to use my cape if he's really that big. So, <laughs> here we go. Utilize my magic cape. Now get Windy, will you please? He's All big. All right. Big. big, you say. Windy, come, Windy. <laughs> Windy. Don't you worry. Windy, Windy we shall get you, old chef. Windy. Come on, Windy. Hey. What are you oh, doing there? What an insult! Me, Windy! Oh, oh Thunderstone! Oh, oh, what's the matter with you? Everything's working backwards, upside down, and inside out. I'm all in a dizzy tizzy. Yeah, oh, I know. Dear. Boy, oh boy, that was some magic, Phineas. Great. <coughs> you call yourself a magician? <coughs> ah. well, Mr. Bluster, I'm sorry, really. Sorry. What good is that? Well, I know how to do it now. You ruined me. You made Phineas T. Bluster look ridiculous. You... you know how to do it now? Oh, absolutely. You mean fine, Windy? No, can't miss. I'm the word of the one, the only, the great. Oh, stop that. How? Well, with this, Abracadab's magic crystal ball shows all, knows all, tells all. Well, fine, buddy. Splendid. Laugh at Phineas T. Bluster, will they? <laughs> it is time I'll have the last laugh. 